you guys, but I really just feel like all love is romantic love. And people just complicate it by putting all these labels on it, all the while avoiding the real issue, which is, I don't know, intimacy or sex or whatever the fuck everyone's so scared of. Okay, like, my best friend and I just moved in together, and I can't help but feel like she's scared of something. I really shouldn't talk about this too much, she would hate it, but let's just say we've never had the most conventional of friendships, and... Now things are all really tense and awkward, and I don't know, I really don't want to feel like this in my own home, you know? That said, this is all very new. We're having friends over for dinner tonight, so who knows? This could all be old news by morning. In the meantime, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon, and I appreciate the help. Hello, Gorgio. Oh, hey, Anne. What's up? Not much. Just get everything ready. Do you like helping? Who are you just talking to? Oh, no one. So, is that what you're wearing tonight? I don't know. I thought this was fine. No, it's a roommate debut. We have to put on a show. Come on, I'll pick something out for you. <sighs> Whatever. Do you think we should liven it up a little bit? Maybe put out the Morrissey poster? No, that's our thing. I don't think it'll mean as much to everyone else. Anyway, I think we'll provide all the livelihoods necessary with these outfits. You know, that's my favorite dress of yours. I know. Here, let's get ready. Ooh. Okay. Come on, let's get this party started. Okay, okay. Where's the fire? Oh wait, shit, is there an actual fire? <laughs> God, that's what you know. Shit. I thought we'd be the hottest ones at the party. <laughs> We should put on some music. Let's listen to this. Okay. interesting to me right now. <laughs> Normally I'd say nothing, but I just downloaded this new app the other day. It's called Black Hair. It's dope. It's like therapy, but social media and stuff. You just post videos of yourself online and people give you comments on it. It's cool. No way. Will, have you heard about this? Yeah, I heard there's like over a million people using it, so it must be pretty helpful, huh? I don't know. Just because you can broadcast your life on the internet doesn't mean you should, right? I don't know. That's just me. Sorry. It's okay. Not for everyone. I actually might post a video of myself before we start drinking if you guys don't mind. Sure. Don't mind me. Damn, that's crazy, right? I mean, I know I'm not the best with social media, but social therapy? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah. I wonder what people post about. Imagine <laughs> you know if I care, that'd be so funny. <laughs> what would I post about? Undoubtedly your infatuation with me. She was the one who got away, and now we live together. Would I tell them how bad of a kisser you were, or no? Ha ha, very funny. That's not true. Is it? That's another thing. Like, is nothing sacred for people on Vicare? Do you think they post things that private? I don't know. You seem pretty interested in this, Em. Maybe you should give social media another go. Yeah, I got an account. It's called See If Vicare. Give me a follow. <laughs> in the meantime, though, I'm gonna check on those potatoes. Like back in the day, my mom 
with this groupie for all the punk rock bands in London and like followed around Chris Smith with a cure and would like take all their shows. Yeah, and then she yeah. sold it back to the bands afterwards. <laughs> it's crazy, right? So funny. Yeah, and then later I became friends with Ida Moore for the poster of my dorm room. What? Oh, do you still have it? Of course you, still there? <laughs> I remember that. I'm surrounded by lovebirds. Wait, Xanax. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on, Carlo? Good How to see you. Man? Hey. Hey, guys. Hello. Do you think I pissed Emily off with that comment? No. Honestly, she's never been one to be really, like, open with her feelings. Dude, I don't even know why she went through yet. You two seem pretty close earlier. <laughs> I mean, if you ask me, it seems like she has some feelings that she's scared of acknowledging. Okay, that's exactly what I said. To her? No. But I... You have a vibe here. Uh, can I call here? You want to help? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a sec. Is my care a secret or something? Um, no, not a secret, but I kind of just want to, like, figure out what's happening before I confront her about it. I mean, she doesn't really use apps like that, so... It seems like you two already know what the problem is. Maybe she's just waiting for you to make the first move. Love you, little belly. Coming. Let's just see how this turns out. Damn, you guys, this place is amazing. I'm so jealous you don't have to live in a dorm. Yo, honestly, this must have been so nice last year. I mean. I still have to worry about my roommate complaining every time Claire comes over. <laughs> Doesn't he know, though, that y'all are the same person now? Right? Yeah, honestly. Y'all are like Carla, or like Claire Lo. Yeah, I like Claire Lo. Claire Lo. Claire Lo. I like Claire Lo. I like Claire Lo. I like Claire Lo. <laughs> All y'all are so lucky. I barely even know my roommate. I got picked with her randomly, and she doesn't even care about me. I'm sorry, you don't oh, want to yeah. hear me complain. We love you. <laughs> we love you too. Thanks, Sammy. I should probably head out. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, I think it's that time. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Mm. Oh, all right. Don't leave. Yeah. Yeah. Don't leave. <laughs> yeah, you think he's still alive? Here's to hoping, right? Here's to hoping. Yeah. Good night, you guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thanks for Thanks coming. coming. Dude, tomorrow we're gonna get the fuck off. Oh, what? Yeah, you're late. You wanna go? No. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Good night. Thanks for coming. Hmm. It's starting to feel like a real home, yeah? Yeah. It really is. It's a messy one, though. Yeah. But with me, what else is it? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'm gonna go to bed now. Mm -hmm. Night. I really don't know who to turn to but you guys right now. A lot has changed since last night. Or actually maybe not. I don't know. I'll just tell you what happened. So, last night after the housewarming dinner, my roommate and I kissed. And I really don't know what that means, or like, I don't know how I feel about it, but more importantly, I don't know how she feels about it. Well, she said that she wasn't sure it was a good idea, but she made the first move. She kissed me, and what does not sure even mean? Like, last year, after we had already decided to live together, we hooked up, went away for the summer, haven't talked about it since. 
But then last night happened, which makes me feel like I can't be the only one still thinking about it. Right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I could really use your insight right now. As always, I sincerely appreciate the help. What's up? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Actually, I have a better idea. Why don't you tell anyone but me? What do you mean? You know what I mean, Lily. You want to phone a friend? Madison, maybe? Or, no friends necessarily, just about care. So you did hear Madison? I'm not talking about hearing Madison. I'm talking about hearing you. Talk about me to the entire fucking world. Why would you think that's okay? It's a big part of my life. You're a big part of my life. I'm in your life, not part of it. If you really wanted to know what I thought about our kiss, why wouldn't you just ask me? We both agreed it was a mistake. But why? How is it a mistake? Because we're just friends, Lily. Just friends. It was never meant to mean anything. But if it never meant anything, then why have we never talked about it? You can't act like nothing's changed. There's obviously tension between us, and I just don't see how avoiding it makes anything Because easier. now we live together, Lily. I'm in your life enough as it is. I see you on a regular basis. And regardless, how hard is it to understand that some things are meant to stay private? Look, I'm honestly sorry. I didn't think you'd see it. But I still feel like you're dodging the issue. What do you want from me, Lily? The only issue here is this fucking Vicare bullshit and the fact that you're obviously in love with me. Look, if you want to live your life on the internet, be my guest. But leave me out of it. You honestly think I'm in love with you? You're not denying it. Well, that's... Arrogant and honestly really disappointing to hear from my best friend. You think I'm the one dodging the issue? You're delusional, Lily. Rewriting. Awesome. Hey guys. What's up? Not much. Just having a nice face-to-face -face chat with my friend Madison. Oh, you didn't want that in your room anymore? Yeah, no, I just thought it would look better in a shared space. Oh, this one seems like everywhere a shared space. Hey, guys, I love this bonding session we've got going on, but I think I'm gonna get out of here. I've got my own roommate to deal with. Hey, can we please talk about this? I want to fix it. You're my roommate. Not for much longer. I think I'm going to live with you next year. You're mistaken. Uh, is every conversation going to be like this? You're just going to keep running away from me. From me. Do I mean anything to you? I mean, what do you think, Lily? Hi, like, how can I tell you anything now that's just going to end up on the internet? Like, I, I, I didn't sign up to live this way. But aren't I allowed to live my life too? What does it matter if I find my care helpful? It doesn't affect you. You really think secretly romanticizing your roommate is helpful? Have you even thought about me once? Like, how do you think I feel about all the shit you've been posting? Well, that's exactly what I want to know. There's obviously been tension since we hooked up that I don't have the answers for. Don't you think it's a little weird that Vi has been there for me more than you have? Yes. Yes, I do. But that's not my problem, that's your problem. If you really care about a bunch of online nobodies more than me, don't let me stand in your way. But I did not sign up to live on the internet. And by the way, we're just friends, okay? Just friends. If you really cared about me, I, I trust you know what to do with that, right?
for it's loud and clear. Good. So my roommate and I aren't talking anymore. I finally talked to her about it, and she didn't say so, but it's pretty clear that she's avoiding the fact that she has feelings for me. I don't know, I guess she's uncomfortable with accepting these kinds of things. Like, she told me that she didn't want to live with me anymore because I post on here, but then she's thinking about living with one of my friends who also uses my care, so that's obviously not the issue. I mean, I don't want to lose her, but if she's not even comfortable with herself, then I can't force her to be, you know? What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Um, till next time. Thank you.